Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Let's Play Minecraft series for 1.15 Minecraft. Hope you all are doing great today. I'm a little under the weather, but I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I hope everybody had a lovely, lovely Christmas. I had a great time with my family, and I hope you did too. Guys, before we get into the video, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. So... There's always this Minecraft wish list of people wanting to add stairs and slabs, new dimensions, and all of this other fun stuff into the game. You're allowed to add one feature of your own accord into the game. What do you add and why? I'm going stairs and slabs for every single block. I want them. That's right. Anyways, guys, if you enjoy this and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we start today's episode off in a new little pin that I made for our villagers. Now, I've got a plan because I want to go back to the end to make sure that I get all of that sweet, sweet end loot. And by the way, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I had mentioned that in the intro. I'm sorry if I cough or anything like that. Your boy has got a fever like crazy. But anyways, the point being, I want to easy emerald trades. Now, if you know anything about Minecraft 1.14, you'll know that there was an infinite emerald trade in the game and they nerfed that a bit. Well, in the game, it's still there. The villagers just reset their trades less often, so we can still get a lot of emeralds, but it's just a little bit slower. So I've already started trading with one of these guys. Let me find him right here. So you see this bookshelf trade? The next trade that we need from this guy is... Uh, okay, so he should be done. We need him to have a book trade after this. So this guy's perfect, right? He's gonna, when we convert him into a zombie villager and then cure him, these trades are gonna go to one and it's gonna be glorious, uh, which means we can go ahead and remove one of these. There we go. So the next guy, uh, that's not a good trade. Let me go ahead and remove both of those so they'll lose their professions and we'll do it again. You, so he's got the trade that we are looking for. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna actually have enough emeralds uh, I'll have to get more paper, but you kind of get the idea. The idea is to get this trade on all three of our zombies. That way we can just trade when we need to. Now, the sugarcane farm is actually incredibly good. I wasn't even sure if I was going to keep this thing, but my God, and I missed a lot. Wow, I, I really missed a lot, actually. Um, but that was just like one row, and I've just been slowly collecting. So some other things that we got to take care of today... Once we get uh, the ability to make emeralds faster, we'll need to start upgrading our elytra. So we'll have to get mending books for that. Um, I'm also gonna do some work on the spawner today. Not a lot though. Just wanna make it to where we get creepers a little bit more. I've got some other plans for today's episode too. So I'm gonna collect all this. And once I get those potions brewed, which is for the potion we need is I think it's potions of harming. This is the fermented spider eye, which is a pretty solid, easily thing to get. Solid, easily thing to get. Yes, I am proficient with words. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get that all taken care of. And when we come back, we're going to have some fun with some villages. So I didn't really think this part through very much. One zombie is converted. Those guys don't see him yet, or they're just not targeting him yet. I'm not sure. They should literally be converting any moment. I, I clicked all three of them at the same exact time, pretty much. There should be like, like less than 20 seconds in between them. Why are they not changing? This is make, okay, there's one more. Is he going to kill the rest of them? No, he's okay. So he's still targeting other stuff. Okay, please don't kill my villagers. 
sir please change oh this is making me nervous anxiety what are you doing oh, seriously convert over man yes no 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 don't look at those villagers look at me look at them do something other than yeah come on dude there's no way it can't take any much longer like i mean there's like literally 15 seconds in between there we go Whew. <laughs> all right now that i am not stressed uh i did forget to grab a gate oh i gotta i gotta quickly grab all this stuff I was collecting wood because how we're gonna fix the spawner is not really a fix it's more of an add-on i'm calling this spawner dlc oh yes we're getting spicy with the names guys um to make uh creeper spawn just a little bit more we're gonna take what we know from creeper knowledge and just add it to the spawner and it'll work perfectly all right fence gate i know that i have one where did i put it is the question i should have like five of them there we go that'll work perfect so all of this stuff is gonna uh change into trap doors i might even grow some more trees i want to make sure i collect all those okay so our villagers now should all have a one emerald trade and it's gonna be pretty much fantastic there we go so he's got three he's got one these should get even lower uh in just a moment so i don't know if i have any other bookshelves let me check and see um but once we initiate that trade we're pretty much going to be good to go for emeralds um no books there either books or leather i guess would work pretty much either way i am probably very okay so i've got leather that'll work let me work okay say so come to Jevin. A uh, book there <laughs> make some paper all right uh all right let's go ahead and make ourselves some more books there we go so what we'll do is we'll just trade i'm assuming that trading with these guys should lower that trade down to one that's what i'm looking for all right put that right there so change some of that before i trade anymore let's just see oh i probably have to level him up don't i all right well um do that by by one of those that should have helped him level up a bit we'll break that and as you can see the kind of the process here um put that in there by all those so he leveled up so let's see what he unlocks sir hello okay so the trades didn't go down any but he still got that that trade for one book uh yeah I like this. This is so this is all I have to do now for a little while. Get uh get their trades going, trade for more emeralds, trade for more books. It's a very, very simple process. So there's a bunch more. So now the his trades are locked, and that one went down, it looks like. Trade for that, get more books. So you can see the process there now. Um, so what I want to do now is go ahead and work on the spawner a little bit. I'm gonna probably grow two tall trees um the, the two by twos and then we'll head up there All right, I just got back from the stronghold. I got all the books I could. So you hear these guys turning the pages? That should be them unlocking this emerald trade. So as you can see, we have started to trade with them so much that the trades are going down a bit. That one guy's isn't though. This one's still three. That one's one now. One and this one's two. So, oh, we got a seven emerald mending book. So we didn't even need to go over to the other guy anymore by that. Thank God, that is amazing. And mending, what was the other guy? First of binding, feather falling, bane. 
uh power nothing there okay so this is where they nerfed this setup right although it works and it still works pretty good because we got quite a bit of emeralds the problem now is that they don't really unlock their trades very often now uh maybe three times a day so anytime we're over here and we hear that page flip that is basically them unlocking but yeah <laughs> doesn't look like it's gonna do it so let's go ahead oh grab all these saplings thank you very much yeah i was thinking i was like man i need to get some books i'm going to the stronghold do you guys remember when we went to the stronghold the book room was right there all right now when we go over there we're good to go baby all right guys so the water just clicked i'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing off i oh there's a creeper i was gonna say i um i opened the lights but since it's nighttime, we still might get some spawns i hope not though that would suck all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go downstairs or try to get down there i may have to go down from like right here Oh, that's sketchy. <laughs> that's real sketchy. Oh my God. All right. So we're going to make a crafting table for the 9,000th time. There we go. And all of this wood I just collected is going to be turned into trap doors. There we go. And basically what we know is that obviously when we put these down, only creepers can spawn, right? Well, since the bottom level, I could probably do the middle level too, since this is three levels tall now. But um, this is only gonna let on this level creeper spawn. And this should improve our creeper gunpowder rate like a zillion, because only on this level will be creepers, which is kind of fantastic actually, if you think about it. So plus that, plus we have looting. And we'll hear pretty soon, we should be able to build better enchantments because we have uh, villagers. Eventually, I would like to switch all of those villagers over. Um, there we go. But what we'll probably do is keep the main villagers that we have right now um, to get emeralds. And then once the emerald trades are, you know, are there, we can trade for better enchantments. All right, guys, the spawner has been converted over. So the first level being a uh, creeper farm. So it should click in a moment and let's see if we get any creepers so far. Just skeletons. Okay. Okay. Creeper creeper. Oh yeah. There's definitely more creepers in there now. Look at it. That's glorious. That's kind of perfect. If you think about it, because I still want other mob drops, but getting uh, extra creepers in there is going to be fantastic. All right. Put that there. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. Oh yeah, this is going to work really well. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so how much for in there? We'll let that build up for a little bit. I just kind of want to watch it again. Oh yeah, there's definitely quite a few creepers in there. Plus the creepers that we're getting spawns from on the other layers as well. This thing has looting three on it, so we should be getting quite a bit of gunpowder now. There we go. Oh, yes. So there is one else. One else. There is one other thing that I need to do before we go back to the end. Well, besides making those, I actually need to get an Unbreaking 3 book. Now, Unbreaking 3 for me is like the hardest book ever to get as an Unbreaking 3 book. But there are some uh, there are some other ways to do it. For example, you can try to get Unbreaking 1 books and combine them together. And that's what I'm going to try right now. But we definitely need Unbreaking before we're going to go fly around the end. Okay. So, let me grab some Lapis. Um, so, maybe we'll just get lucky. I'm going to try a few here. Smite. Wow. Protection 3. So apparently I told you guys enchanting has never been my strong suit. Sometimes I get lucky, <laughs> but as you can see, not a darn thing, man. And not even an unbreaking one book. This is how it typically goes when I enchant. And that protection three book has been there for forever too. So <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my God. Well, the good thing is right. Uh, it's only level one and we have this game right here. 
and i think you can do oh you can't do two at a time okay well anyways i can definitely definitely get a little bit of xp back but i'm not too worried about the xp we just need about nine more of those oh yeah this is definitely working out for us guys look at this Whew. look at them creeps oh yeah baby that upgrade was worth it oh yeah all right so we probably have yeah we've already got over a stack in there good deal good deal so i'm gonna get this unbreaking three book finished uh enchant my elytra and we're gonna head back to the end for a little bit of loot hunting but um we're gonna play by a little bit of a more fair rule because remember the shockers are dropping extra uh sh like shells which is kind of cheaty i mean we're already using shockers drop two i don't want to use anymore so this might actually be a first for me guys i have never found two very big in cities okay three that's insane there's three of them right here what dude they're both huge too right so we know for a fact we're gonna get three elytra that's a given and i've already got like a stack of shockers but we're gonna have to like i said we're gonna have to do some subtracting here let's go ahead and check the loot out real fast kill these guys that's in that's insane dude i cannot believe i just found that that might be one of the more rare finds that I have found. Here we go. All right, some decent, um, some decent loot so far. I haven't really found a lot of like, uh, like armor or anything like that. Let me grab this and that. All right, I'm just gonna kind of put some stuff up real fast. So all of the ores. Okay, so that's everything I've pretty much found to this point. Good deal. Okay let's pick that up and make sure i'm still using silk there we go all right so um when i'm done i will come back and kill everything so next up for loot um there will most likely be a chest up here all right this one typically doesn't have a lot of loot in it unless it's the big tower which it is so the shed i didn't realize it was this one so we'll take all of this i didn't even plan on really showing this either i can't believe we found this this is insane this should be all that i have to really look at once i have cleared these three which will take a good bit of time um we should be good and i think there's probably at least one or two more loot rooms in this one by itself that's ridiculous dude all right lots of cursing um enchantments so far god my head is killing me guys all right um so there's probably a little bit more loot here go over to the next boaty boat all right i, I still can't believe there's three there mm. you sir are going to die the way i plan on yes this is ridiculous i'm getting like three drops at a time uh all right we're gonna be able to make some pretty solid uh pretty solid armor here guys i don't want that iron armor though take that one all right let me see if there's any rooms on this one that we can look at all right so i see at least one this one right here sometimes there's more in that one but i'm merely interested in the good stuff okay so not a lot in this one lots of mending but there's gonna be a ton of shockers uh okay so and then i just mentioned how do i plan on uh figuring out how many shocker shells we're gonna have let me get over here and i'll explain it a little bit better oh no i'm falling all right so this one has at least one big room too all right so kill this guy and i'll show you what i'm gonna do pretty simple actually all i'm gonna do is just look at how many shockers that i have killed in my st uh, statistics kill this guy there we go yeah we're getting like three at a time that's kind of nuts i think that that was a good chest wow i like that chest a lot actually that all up uh sword mending show wow good sword wow we're definitely gonna have some op tools when we're done here so that was a really good sword okay now uh all i'm gonna do is just go here mobs 
and then go down to shockers so i've killed 29 so far and i'm just going to multiply that number by two that'll be the number that i'm going to keep and that'll help us um get rid of the extra because i'm almost certain x probably wouldn't want people getting like lots and lots of shells like that that seems kind of nuts so all right i'm gonna um try to clear these out at least these big rooms out. i don't know how much i want to do okay guys i just got back from the end and boy it was a successful run but we are gonna throw away some of these things so let's go ahead and get everything out here kind of figure out what we got i think we'll start with all the tools and armor let's get this all organized and let me put my stuff in here there we go so we don't get that all mixed up grab all this it's all there's so much it's amazing and one of those chest plates is probably mine but it's all good baby it's all good it ain't nothing but love okay so let's go ahead uh, um put all these up there so um fortune three unbreaking unbreaking protection unbreaking depth strider protection mending efficiency so nasty fire protection unbreaking fortune elytra okay okay nothing super fancy yet mending fire protection some pretty decent this sword is definitely something we're going to be using so touch efficiency so not bad uh on the tools and armor lots and lots of goodies there and then uh, i don't think i'm gonna need any of that so this is shockers now we're gonna be throwing some of those away if you remember put all that up there and then this helmet so we got almost three stacks of shockers now let's go ahead and take a look at statistics mobs um so we killed 70 which means um in reality if every single one of them uh dropped two that would be 140 shells so 64 and 64 is 128 so uh, 128 plus 59 is 187 so we are going to be getting rid of 17. that seems a little off though i don't know man that seems like um i don't know i, I guess that seems right i mean statistics mobs if we killed i mean we killed quite a bit of them 70 so i guess that seems oh, fair enough uh, so I will ditch these just chuck these over here and let them despawn. That seems pretty fair I don't know if you guys want to change that. Let me know But man, that's exciting. So in terms of what we have for armor now Compared to what the armor up there is Let's see. So this one is protection three and we only had the one pair of leggings two pairs So we won't be able to do much for the leggings what about the boots? The boots are pretty much finished, but if we had a pair of boots that had mending, that could work, but it looks like we've only got the one pair of boots right there. What about the helmet? Protection and breaking, fire protection, so we could add those together, add that one together. Doesn't look like we have one with mending on it, though. Uh, no. All right, well, it'll be better than nothing, I suppose definitely a good start i think i'm more excited about the tools than anything though take a look at the tools so uh we don't have a fortune pickaxe at the moment we have silk touch um because we lost ours when we died but we still don't have we have this fortune two pick efficiency so this is efficiency four so we can definitely definitely beef that up a little bit as well so that's not bad though for just a really easy easy find there with those three cities i can't believe we found those man that's insane anyways guys i think i'm probably gonna go ahead and end the episode here if you guys enjoy the video please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe this is i jevin peace out everybody